Hey everybody, this is Dave Shopius. I've got a little update video on my centering problem I was having in my last video. Uh, it was a pretty long one, so hopefully this one will be shorter. Uh, I just want to tell you that I've made uh, a lot of progress. In fact, I would say it is a success thanks to um, a lot of help I got from a lot of different builders uh, from, a different, from different forums. Um, especially a guy by the name of Dave H. from down in Louisiana. Uh, he spent hours on the phone with me uh, going over issues and problems that he thought I might have after watching the video. And um, I'll be damned if uh, I didn't follow some of his suggestions and I now have an um, arm that I'm really happy with that centers up properly um, and runs smoothly. Um, basically, um, I'm not going to go over everything on this um, Basically, the, the problem I was having, um, like I said, this was not lining up and coming in uh, to the same set point from either side, up or down. I was having a lot of variance. Um, it's documented in my other video. Um, I'm using uh, this right here right now as a marker, this opto switch. That's not what's centering up on it. Um, I'm just using that as a marker. That's basically a fail-safe switch for later on. What is uh, my feedback device is this uh, Spectra system soft pot that sits down in here and there's a stylus that runs right in through here uh, with kind of a, a spring-loaded bullet action that presses up against the membrane. So that sends feedback um, up through this tangle of wires here back to the uh, Sabertooth uh, 2 times 32 when a kangaroo times two that's attached to it. Um, the kangaroo is what gives the saber tooth the position and the uh, the speed ability. Um, so uh, I had originally had um, two 10k resistors set back in here on this kangaroo uh, and that is the feedback uh, lines that go to the soft pot feedback uh, potentiometer back here. So um, the reason I have uh, resistors in there is that if um, you push right here it'll burn up without them. <laughs> so um, basically I didn't want that to happen. Uh, the 10K really dropped down the voltage that was going through the pot down to like 1.6 volts from 5 volts, volts that's being delivered from the kangaroo. Uh, I put, I took those out and put 1K resistors in there. So I, I cut out the 10K and soldered in 1K resistors. There's one on uh, the positive leg and one on the grounded leg. Of that pot and the center uh, feedback wiper is not grounded at all, not is not uh, is just floating it doesn't have a resistor on it so um, that brought the voltage up going around the soft pot to about um, 4.6 volts if I remember right so that uh, gave it a full range um, of voltage around there and I think it gave the kangaroo uh, um, more headroom, if you want to say, call it that, to read um, the voltage change. So there's a big difference between finding a swing within 1.6 volts and 5 volts uh, for that thing. But um, either way, uh, that was a huge um, help. What that did do is it screwed up my, my PID coefficients in my um, program that resides inside the kangaroo. Uh, so they were all messed up, so I had to spend probably a good two days um, fiddling around with those values. Um, I had to take this whole mess off of the robot and try to get an auto-tune, which because of the excessive weight on the end of this thing, the kangaroo would not auto-tune properly. I had to take all this extra weight off of here, uh, run it through uh, its, its, its auto-tune, uh, with the weight off and then they gave me a good baseline to work from. I put it all back on and um, fiddled around with all the values, the gains and stuff until I got a nice smooth movement. And uh, good centering. So it's, uh, it, um, my sub, it comes in exactly 
within one millivolt of the set point uh, from either side. Um, and what this is here, I just got all this stuff all wrapped around here. This is the rubber arm that'll go on here before, later on, and the and the um, clamp I use. Those are all heavy. I had to have that on there so I can get my my values right uh, because what it's doing is reading the weight is picking up and hanging and uh, swinging around out there. So once I got it all together, um, that gave, that was that allowed me to. To do all my tuning properly so just so um so i'm gonna give you a quick demonstration here you can see how um how close that little finger is it's right at the top of that u-shaped um opto switch which i again i'm not using this for centering that's just like a fail safe uh, to let the software know that this thing is in there so um I'm, so right now just use that as a reference point i'm going to lift the um the arm so it'll go up to um, let me see what I have I just want to make sure I have a set of 3100 yep okay let me lift the arm up with this script here I'll swing around so you can see it come up nice and smooth beautiful so it's not important where it goes up but it says it's at uh, 30 98 that's just like two millivolts from 3100 um, which is okay that could be off a little bit because I'm worried about it centered up so it'll come into the torso so let me uh, take it down I have a set of 2500 which is 2500 millivolts I believe so nice and smooth nice ramping and you can see I'm right at the top of that sucker Perfect, just almost exactly where it was. Let's see what uh, she's reporting. 24.99. That's one millivolt. That's pretty. Let me double check over here. 24.98. So it's 99. So it's right there within error. Okay, let's go down. A little bit of a rough, but that's okay. Um, I have a set at. 2000 it goes right to 2000 let me bring it up and look at there it's right in there right exactly where it was before just about it was she uh, reporting 24.99 one millivolt off so it's coming right exactly where it was so Bring it up. Uh, let's let that finish. Let's bring it down to 2500. And it's reporting 2498. We're within. I'm happy with that. Let's take it down. Two thousand. Let's take it up to twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred. Holy cry me! I was gonna say crap, but this is a family show. Um, look at that, right in there. Dead center. Down. Dead center. I'm loving it. I'm happy. Okay. That's it. Now I got to get it back on the robot. I'm going to do some modifications while I got it out. And um, I'm a happy camper. Life is good. Thanks everybody for help. Bye bye.